Hi, this is David Brow. I've been selling real estate for close to 10 years. Our team of highly trained professionals along with our marketing plan has sold hundreds of homes all over Fort Wayne and this is how we do it. Hey everybody, it's Dave Brow and I am with Kelsey Fosnaw and Kelsey is, uh, she's a part of our, what we call our back office here at Anthony Realtors. And Kelsey, thanks for coming on this quick interview. Uh, I know you're busy today, so. Um, so Kelsey, um, how long have you been with the Anthony Realtors? Uh, almost two years. It'll be two years next month. That time goes by really quick. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so what did you do before uh, you started with us? Before I came here, I was actually um, a server at Hideout 125. Okay, nice. Uh, so is it a big difference going into real estate from being in the food industry? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, very, very different. Both like kind of still like customer service related, but it's very different. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so you do a lot of things here. Um, I always say that you wear a lot of hats and you wear them well, so you do a great job with us. Um, but you started out, um, I hired you as my executive assistant. Mm -hmm. At that time, I was selling 70 to 80 houses a year and um, I needed somebody that was just my go-to person, and that was you. Um, so that's what you started doing, um, and you did that for uh, several months. Um, and I think several months went by, and went by, and then you started doing more things. Um, so you, uh, in the last year, you know, uh, we transitioned into uh, more of a team model. So you stepped out of being my executive assistant and then have phased into what you do now. And that is our operations manager and uh, or operations director. So tell us a little bit about the job of an operations director at Anthony Realtors. What do you do for us? Okay, yeah. Um, what I do as our operations manager here is I am responsible for knowing all of our systems inside and out, um, and I help the agents train on them, teach everyone about them. Um, I also help you create new systems, and we constantly improving the ones that we've already built. Um, and then we just make sure the business is functioning efficiently and that all the agents, customers, everyone has the service that they need and make sure everyone, basically everyone's taken care of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then, so you do that. Uh, that probably is, um, you know, you spend a good amount of time just doing those things. You also are in charge of our lead system. So um, you have like a 10,000 foot view of everything. So mm -hmm. tell me, tell me what's that, what that is like, what do you, what do you do? What does that mean? Um, how do you help the agents there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm in charge of our lead system, the CRM, everything. Um, I basically, it's the first thing I do every single morning, log in, I see all of the new leads we've gotten in the last 24 hours. I'll make sure all the agents have followed up accordingly, make sure that no opportunities weren't missed. Um, also call some cold, super cold leads, try to draw up new business for the agents as well and hand out those opportunities. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nice. So you have, um, you have a pretty unique perspective um, because an agent, you know, they are really only seeing the leads that they have and experiencing those, um, those leads. So you have a different unique perspective because you get to see the whole system. So having um, come from kind of that standpoint, what would you say uh, um, are a reason or reasons for agents who are successful? Uh, why would you say what makes them successful? from your perspective? What makes us so slow? Uh, probably what I see the number one difference between agents that are able to convert leads and ones that struggle to convert as well is the ones that are converting time block. That is what they do best. Mm -hmm. uh, they will protect their time and mm -hmm. their prospecting happens every single day and nothing gets in the way of it. But I think that's the number one thing if you want to convert online leads especially, you have to spend the time making the calls and protecting your time block every day. Okay. So would you say um, even more than just like years in the business and uh, just any sort of anything else that that would probably be the number one thing is just devoting the time to be intentional with it. Um, that doesn't surprise me that you gave me that answer. 
because I would probably say the same thing. Um, so uh, what would you say um, would be the biggest stumbling block? So time blocking is the number one important thing for mm -hmm. people to agents to convert leads. So what, um, when people don't time block, um, is it like a mindset thing? They don't see the value in it. Just in your opinion, what do you think is the reason why people don't time block or um, uh, they do it, but they, they're inconsistent with it? What, what would you say to an agent watching this? Um, yeah, what I, I say this every day to our agents, it all comes down to their mindset. You have to have a really positive mindset and you have to constantly work on your mindset, especially in real estate. Um, you're going to get 10 to 15 no's on the phone before you're going to get that yes. And if you don't have the correct mindset going into your phone calls, you're going to give up really quickly is once you hear the first couple no's and it's just going to bog you down and you're not going to want to continue to go go on any farther and continue to make those calls so i think it all comes down to your mindset ultimately okay and then uh so what what do you think uh somebody can do to help their mindset to improve their mindset to strengthen their mindset you know what what, what are some things that that you do you see other people doing yeah um i think it all starts in like your morning routine we suggest all of our agents um get up early, get their stuff going that we recommend. They work out in the morning, whatever you need to do to get yourself like up and going. So I like to get up and read my Bible in the morning. Some agents like to hit the gym at 5.30, whatever it is for you or meditation, whatever it is, you have to do that for yourself in the morning. Um, listen, listen to motivating podcasts, listen to whatever you need to, to get yourself like pumped up and going for the day from the second you get up in the morning, not at like five o'clock at night and try to start your day then. Try to start it as early in the morning as possible. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, so you are also currently our success manager. And um, this is as our company is growing. Um, you know, we hope to bring on more people in our back office. But right now we are, uh, we're not in a position to have a success manager. So uh, you are doing that as well. You're doing a very good job at it. Um, so describe to um, the people listening what the role of a success manager is. So what do you do when you're, when you're in that role? Yeah, um, my role as our success manager is basically just to help our agents. Our agents at the beginning of the year, they all set out their goals for themselves, their business goals, their production goals, as well as like their personal goals for their family, um, everything like that. And my goal is just to keep them on track for those goals. So I want to sit down with them every week if they're falling behind see what I can do come up with an action plan to get them back on track and just remind them why they committed to these goals why these goals were important in the first place and be that um, accountability partner because everyone needs some uh, accountability in their life when it comes to setting any type of goal for yourself business or personal related gotcha and then so we um, we talk a lot about dream boards in our office or vision boards and so it kind of just starts there like we declare kind of what we want in our life uh, what we want to work towards and we bring out our vision board uh, every quarter right yeah. does the in on our on our one-on-ones um, that we have with the the agents so um, we sit down and um, you'll you'll just, you know, just ask you like, what, whatever, what have you accomplished? You know, what are you struggling with? And we all kind of in this office want everybody, including people in the back office, you know, just as much as the agents. Mm -hmm. uh, we just, we want to live, you know, successful, fruitful lives. And it, uh, we think that the, the sales that we do in real estate, you know, that can just fund those, those lives. So, um, just wrapped up quarter one um so we got the vision boards back out recently and just this week um one of our agents was able to tell me that he crossed three things off of his vision board just nice. in the first quarter already nice. so we're seeing that success nice awesome um so uh i really feel like you've grown a lot uh just at your time at anthony realtors and i just probably because the person that you are you know you're just in a trajectory of, of growth in your life which is really cool to see. Um, so uh, going from an assistant who you really didn't know anything about real estate, uh, in that time you've now bought a house. Um, yes. Yeah, you bought your first home, which is really cool. Yeah. 
And um, so the sky is really the limit for you and in, in your career and just your trajectory. So um, what are some, some things you've learned about maybe real estate, managing people, um, just in general in business that you want to share with people? Yeah, um, I feel like I've learned a lot in the last two years and grown as well. Um, like you said, I had I never bought a house when I started here. I basically learned the whole entire business inside and out in the last two years. So that was a huge learning curve for me. Um, and one thing I think I learned the most um, was that real estate's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> it's exciting and it's competitive, but it's also stressful, not only for your client, but the agent itself yourself trying to find the next deal um struggling with mindset those type of things so it's a lot harder than what people think it is and that's i think um what i've tried to learn in the last two years to help our newer agents that join the team be able to realize that very early on so that they can have the right uh, expectations going into this career so nice. Think, nice um what do you like most about your job <sighs> what i like most don't you put you on the spot here but <laughs> This is literally the hardest question. I like so many things about my job, um, but I think my number one thing is our relationships here within the office. I feel like I have a different relationship with every single person in the office. Um, we have a really nice culture, um, and I like being able to help the agents set their goals, and I love hearing the stories. Like, I got to go on this vacation with my family. I got to do this. I got to remodel the bathroom in my house, whatever it is. Like, I love hearing those stories. It makes me feel good about what I'm doing and knowing that I'm helping the agents and the other staff in the office like do well in their life outside of work. Nice. Um, what is most challenging about your job? Um, probably the most challenging. Um, this is my first uh, job as a role of a manager. Um, so I try to be as much of a transformational uh, leadership as I can be. So I try to cater to every different personality in the office, especially when you have a bunch of 1099 uh, mm -hmm. contractors. They all have their different um, needs. So you have some that need a lot of hand holding and a lot of support. And you have one that just a couple that just need a little bit of guidance and they'll run with it. They don't need mm -hmm. you to hold their hand. So I think figuring that out um, for everyone on their own, their own individual basis and treating every, uh, everyone here a little bit differently in my management style is probably the number one challenge. Yeah. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Um, everybody has kind of a different love language. You know, everybody communicates yeah. in different ways. We're uh, big on disc here. So uh, we have spent a lot of time. We had the, the really high level training that we received, which we got a lot of value from. Um, and that has been super helpful. So do you think like just the disc training, the learning about that has been helpful for, for you from a management standpoint, being able to, um, kind of identify different personality traits and speak to people on their level. Yeah, absolutely. Cause before that I felt like I struggled just a little bit more and I feel like I was able to give, gain some clarity in that, that I was able to identify people's personalities and what they needed without having to directly ask them what they yeah. needed. Being able to identify that definitely has helped a lot in my role. Nice. Uh, so what are some of your goals? Um, okay, some of my goals. So um, I have two big goals this, um, one specifically this year and then one, one I'm working up towards in the next three to five years. Um, but one is paying off my student debt and my goals have it paid off at the end of this year and I am on track to do that as of right now. So I'm super excited about that. <laughs> um, and then our next one is um, my boyfriend and I are starting to invest in real estate. Um, we both have a career in real estate. It makes the most sense to us. Um, so we are currently under contract with our first investment property. It's going to be our first rental. Um, and our plan is to probably buy five to 10 in the next three to five years is our goal. Nice. Um, so we're really excited about it. I'm excited to see what, what comes of our investments. And yeah. Could... Awesome. Nice. Um, where do you see the real estate industry um, headed in the next five years? Okay, good question. Um, everyone has a little bit of different ideas on this. Um, I, you hear a lot about technology right now and people think it's going to disrupt the market a little bit. And I completely agree with that. I think technology is going to change the way we see real estate agents jobs and things like that. Um, but ultimately I think like the number one important thing is to have a strong, uh, database marketing plan. Your mm -hmm. database isn't going to go anywhere. No one can take it from you. You're always mm -hmm. going to have it. Um, I also believe that we're going to see a shrink in the number of agents that are in the market mm -hmm. and we'll just have less agents doing more transactions. 
And probably finally, um, I also think that the more hybrid model of brokerages and teams like what we have here will become more common mm -hmm. as well as what will make the difference between the, in the customer experience in the future. Yeah. Um, I, I, I agree with that. I think that um, just the ability to serve people is going to change in the big, the big box broker model. I think it's going to be harder and harder for a single agent just to add value. Yeah, especially, I mean, right now yeah. with consumers, they want yeah. information immediately. And you can't yeah. be full 24 7. You need people behind you helping you to be able to service yeah. them the way they need to be serviced. Yeah. Um, so, with that, where do you see our company, Anthony Realtors, in five years? Positive um, outlook? Negative sure. outlook? Oh, positive. hopefully it's positive. Okay. Yeah, I mean, ever since I joined in two years, we've done incredible things in the last two years. So I'm super excited what we can accomplish in the next five years. Um, our team's growing like crazy right now, and I can, don't see that stopping. I could probably see us in the next five years with 30 plus agents. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited. That's awesome. I plan to still be here. <laughs> yeah, I, you are a major part of it, and we all appreciate you so much. Um, so uh, really appreciate your time today, Kels. That's that's it for our interview. Um, let you get back to what you're doing and have a good weekend and talk to you later. All right. Thank you. Thanks mm -hmm. for having me.